Hello! We are on literally part seven. I think we're on part seven. Yes! Part seven. Uh, I'm using my 2D VTuber instead of my 3D VTuber as my as my VTuber today. Uh, because I figured why not? Why not mix it up? We're literally on seven. We're on episode we're on we're on part seven, and you know, sometimes you just gotta change some things up. So this is my old VTuber uh 2D model. And um as you can see, we're working on the new one here. But uh yeah, so today we're gonna wait to do the mouth because I'm still working on learning things about the mouth. So we're going to do hair physics today. And if we have time, we'll do some breathing. So let's start with hair physics. This is going to be a ton of fun. It's honestly one of my favorite parts about doing 2D models. So uh, this model that I'm using in the bottom right corner right now does not have hair physics activated. I have some movement in the hair, but it's not the same thing as hair physics. So let me show you actually what the hair physics are going to look like when we're done here. So this model right now, I don't have the mouth movement, but this is a version where the hair physics are working. So this is what our hair physics are going to look like. Uh, ignore my ear, lol. <laughs> this is what the hair physics are going to look like uh, once we are done with this video. So if this is something you're looking for, something similar, that's what we're going to have. So sort of like the bouncing look with your hair when you move your head. So uh, let's go start working on that. So this is an earlier version. I had saved out the one that with the hair physics already working. What we're going to do for our hair physics is we're going to open our hierarchy all the way over here on the left and get to the different hair pieces. So for this, basically, you're just going to want a warp deformer assigned to... You don't need to have a warp deformer, I guess, necessarily assigned to everything individually. Um, you can, again, the more you have, the more control. But as you can see, I have a warp deformer here that says hair front warp, and it has all three of the bangs in it. But what we're going to do here is we're going to start with the bangs. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do here is we're going to grab our deform path edit tool, which we learned in the last video, which you can click if you want to learn a little bit more about that. What we're going to do is we're going to, again, you do our little like wormy thing. Just click the points. You can do multiple of these. So I'm going to do two. I'm going to do one for this bang and one for this little piece right here. So I'm going to grab my mouse here again and then go back so we can have two separate ones whoops i'm gonna click off quick and then i'm gonna click back and then just do another set so now we have two different ones and uh you might not want to move the root of the hair as much if you want it to look more natural i learned this from talking to somebody else and uh so we're gonna try that this time around so now what you're gonna want to look for in your parameters over here is you're gonna want to look for the hair front move front i'm gonna drop three points on this and we're gonna do basically a side like a swaying movement with the hair so we're gonna snap to our right point for the hair move front and make sure if you don't have these you can make a new parameter that says hair move front if it doesn't work for some reason you're gonna right click on the hair move front click edit parameter make sure every single time you're bringing stuff over into prpr live if it's not working you need to check your id here and make sure it's the same thing as this so mine is hair move front so honestly it might not even work if it just says hair front i might need to change it to hair move front but usually that's the problem if you are struggling with that or if that's not working for some reason so now that we're on the right side i'm just gonna sway the hair a little bit this is when that animation book i talked about earlier could come in big handy and i'll drop that link down below again for those who are interested in it it's a it's called the animation survival toolkit and it talks to you a lot about the movement of things and why it moves a certain way or how it moves a certain way to get it to look really nice for animation so that's an option for you if you're trying to learn more about animation or if you're just interested in animation in general. Okay, so we're just moving this over a bit. So see if that sways. Yep, I like that. And then we're just going to do the same for the left. So we're going to click over to left side and move it to the left. All right, I kind of like that. I think that's pretty good. Well, after we get the bangs done, I'll test it and show you how to get it to work in the physics settings. Okay, so let's click on. We got our right and left here. Now I'll snap back to middle. Now let's click on our next section of bangs. And again, we're going to drop three points onto it. So click the three key forms. And we're going to go ahead and add in our deformers again. Boop. And then I'm going to click off, remember, and I'm going to click back on. And we're going to get one for this as well. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our pointer. And now we're going to go to the right and move our bangs over to the right. All right. And now we're going to do a left. So I'm going to move it all swaying to the left. And again, if you want that more realism, maybe leave that top point out and not move that as much. And I think we're going to go back to this one and move it over a bit so it's kind of in synchrony here. Actually, I think that's still too far down. We'll just move this a little bit back. I want it to be too far. That looks good. Now we're going to move to our last bang over here, drop our three points, go to the right. And we're going to use our deformer. Go click off of it, click back on deformer again. And now I'm going to move this over. 
Okay, so I think that's pretty decent. You know, the bangs might floof a little back and forth. So now I'll show you how to get the physics end. Okay, so now you're gonna go down up to modeling and open your physics settings. You're gonna go to group. Everything's gonna be grayed out right now. You're gonna click add. And let's name this hair physics. And then maybe you name your character. I'm just gonna put hair physics Saya. And we're gonna start with the uh, short hair prefect for the bangs because the bangs are kind of short. It doesn't really matter for this. You can edit that. So no matter what you choose, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, that's probably too short. But uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is in the input now, we're gonna add and go ahead for the input, add angle X, Y, and Z. Check box those, check mark those boxes. Uh, and then we're gonna go to the output settings tab right here and we're going to uh, add, and then you're gonna add hair front, hair back, and hair side, those three. And now we go back to input settings and make sure you turn this effective up to 100 or just scroll it all the way up. And there we go. Now we have it. But you see when you move your character, but you see how fast that flicks. So now you want to, you can mess with the settings down here. Again, make sure the effective is up or it's not going to work. So this is really short. We're going to want to increase it. So I'm going to turn the duration up to make that longer. So now that looks a lot smoother. I like that. And shaking, let's turn that up. So maybe it has more shake just because I enjoy it. And again, you can mess with these settings. You can mess with them until you find something that you feel like works well with your character. You can also add another pendulum that's like shorter. So then you can have a shorter like length right here. So that, watch this pendulum. That's kind of how it works. And uh, that can be added on to your character to have multiple different physics for like a different section of the hair, if that makes sense. So again, now we have some physics where the hair sort of bounces. I don't really, again, I don't really know the best settings for this. I think it's going to depend on everybody's character. So definitely mess with everything here until it looks something like what you want it to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and click an X on that. That was just a test. We're obviously not done. So for the next parts, instead of re redoing all of this again, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on my other model what I did in order to save some time here. So we did the bangs, as you know, I'm going to scroll down. So I did all these as the front section for the hair move front parameter. So again, I just included these little guys in there. And then once you get to the side pieces of hair, you're going to move on and do the same process we did for hair move front, but you're going to do it for hair move side, but with your side pieces. So I decided, and again, you don't have to have, you can choose whatever you want. There's no rule like this. I was like, okay, yeah, this is going to be a part of my side. So now we have the side pieces moving here, right and left. So you would do that for each singular piece you have. And then for the back, I just have the back of the hair moving uh, back and forth. And now I'm going to go to my physics settings and show you what I have for my physics. So again, as you can see, this is sort of what I have. There's nothing really different that I did since I did pretty much the same thing for the bangs that I did for the rest of the hair. You don't have to change anything in here. It should be connecting everything. And if anybody has problems with that, of course, let me know. Okay, so again, if anybody has questions with the hair physics, because I sort of rushed through the second half of that, you can join our Discord. That link will be down below and there is a hashtag question section. I'll try my best if you get stuck anywhere to help you. Just make sure you at me in the Discord. Okay, so next we're gonna be doing breathing. We're gonna finish the breathing in this video and then in the next video we'll start working on the mouth and then we'll pretty much be done with all the core parts of getting a basic half body 2D model. So I'm really excited, you guys have come a long way. Okay, so let's do breathing. Breathing is super duper simple. We're gonna click on, I'm gonna do body Z warp and we're gonna go to breathing right here. I have mine set up already, but I'm going to open my old model really quick. So we're going to go up to body Z warp, our main one, and we're going to drop two points on our breathing parameter. So for up, all we're going to do is pull these green bars up here and then we'll grab these bottom ones and I'm going to bring them a little bit up. All right, that looks fine and that should be good to go. I'm going to move this a little bit because I felt like it was tilting. Let's just go a little bit further up and I think that's pretty good. So we already got breathing all set to go then. So now what you're going to do is click for the test section, export, export as MO3 file and make sure you check box, check mark. I always say check box, check mark the export physics settings file. Make sure your physics are exported with everything. You always check that if you, your physics decide to just not work, but you need that checked. Okay. Click. Okay. And then we're going to save this. I'm going to save it as 0.2 just because this is an updated version. I'm going to click save. Now we're going to go into PRPR PR live. We're going to click load. Let's do 3.72. That's the one we just did. Now, if your breathing works correctly, your breathing should pretty much be working as soon as you get in without starting any sort of cap. And then I'm going to do face capture, start cap, 
And there we go. My physics are going. My breathing's going. We have some light breathing. And uh, yeah, now mostly all we have is the mouth and this whole ears thing I have. I need to fix my ears because it's wrong on this one compared to my other model. Uh, if anybody's interested in seeing how I did that, even though I want to find a better method, just drop a comment down below. Anyways, again, I hope you guys have been getting value out of the series. Please hit the thumbs up if you've been getting value to help more people see these live 2D tutorials. And again, this next video we do should be the last part, the part eight. So this is part seven. Part eight will be our last one and we will be finished with your first half body 2D model. I'm very excited for you. I'll show you how to set it up in stream and everything. And I will explain a little bit of PRPR live. Maybe I'll do a full PRPR live tutorial in another video actually separate from this. So if you want to join a community filled with a bunch of other VTubers and artists that are like-minded working on their own characters, definitely click that link down below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.